Hello, myself Ravindra Chavan, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this session, we will discuss what the stack memory is, how stack memory can be accessed, and specially we will uh, discuss the stack operations in 8051 microcontroller. At the end of this session, student will be able to develop the 8051 based systems by writing assembly programs using stack operations instructions. Outline of this session, first we will uh, see what the stack memory is, then uh, the two operations push operation and pop operation and uh, we will consider uh, the examples. Now what the stack memory is, okay. so stack memory is a, a section of the main memory that is the random and this stack memory it is used to store the data items. When we talk about the stack memory, the two operations can possible on the stack memory, one is called the push and second one is called the push. Push means puts an atom onto the top of the stack and pop means to remove an atom from the top of the stack. Okay. So uh, the stack memory uh, is accessible only by two uh, special operations that is called push and pop. Okay. So here in this particular uh, slide you will see uh, this dark uh, blue. We will consider this as a empty stack okay. and then whatever we will push on the stack that will be uh, get stored in the stack at the top of the stack. Next atom whatever we are pushing here that will be placed on the previous one and now this red block will be set to as the new top of the stack. Again suppose one more data we have pushed on the stack then that will be placed above the previous two and now we can say that this pink color block is the top of the stack and when we remove or pop the data from the stack it is always removed from the top of the stack. Okay, so if you remove this pink block, then the red block will be a new top of the stack. Now, what is the role of stack and what is the use of the stack? So, stack can be used to save the temporary data. So, when the programmer feels that the whatever the registers available, that registers are not sufficient to uh, store the data temporary, then the designer or the programmer can uh, use the stack memory. As well as the stack can be used by the CPU for internal operations. Okay. So, uh, many times in the uh, program we are writing the subroutine program and that subroutine program we are uh, calling in the main function or the, in the main program by executing the call instruction. So, when call instruction executes the CPU is using the stack to store the return address. So, the CPU uses the stack to save the address of the instruction just below the call instruction. It is nothing but the return address. That is how the CPU knows where to resume when the CPU returns from the called subroutine. Means stack is available for the programmer as well as stack can be used internally for the some operations like uh, while uh, calling the subroutine and while returning from the subroutine. Now the stack is a section of a uh, main memory only that is the data memory used by the CPU to store information temporary. Okay, so stack is not a separate memory chip, it is the 
part of the data memory only now as far as the 8051 is concerned the stack in the 8051 is in internal data memory and this stack can be start from the address 08 to 7f so between 08 to 7f address the programmer can initialize the stack memory now how the stack is accessed by the cpu so the answer is the stack pointer so stack pointer register is provided to point the data from the stack memory and the stack pointer register is of 8 bit and when we reset the uh, 8051 microcontroller by default after reset the stack pointer holds the value 07 okay so stack pointer is an 8 bit register stack pointer always points to the last used location that is nothing but the top of the stack and stack pointer stores the address of top data so stack pointer register is used to access the stack when the 8051 is powered up then there will not be any data in the stack and the stack pointer register contains the value 07 this is nothing but the default top of the address of the top of the stack in 8051 stack memory so stack can be defined between a 08 to 7f address so here uh, the in this particular uh, table the stack memory is shown which starts from uh, 08 then next address will be 09 next will be 0a and uh, so on and the data stored in respective addresses is uh, 11 22h 33h like that okay but if you remember the memory organization of 8051 controller then you know that the locations 20 to 2f from the internal data memory are reserved for the bit addressable memory and if we are using this bit addressable memory in our uh, application in that case we cannot initialize the stack between the 22 to 2f and that's why the programmer can change the stack pointer to point anywhere to ram location 30h onwards okay now suppose for example uh, move sp comma hash 5f means 5f will be loading in the stack pointer register now this instruction makes the address 60h will be the first location from the stack memory now as far as the operations on the stack Uh, is concerned the two operations are possible one is to store the data which is called the push operation and second one is to remove the data from the stack which is called the pop operation now to perform these two operations the two instructions are provided the push and pop so the first we will see the push instruction so push instruction is used to Uh, store the data on the stack and stack pointer is pointing to the last used location of the stack that is nothing but the top of the stack now as we push data on the stack first the stack pointer is incremented by 1 and then stores the data means default value of stack pointer is 07 when we push the data so stack pointer will be incremented by 1 that will become 08 and then the data will be stored at 08 so push operation supports only direct addressing mode 
we cannot use the register addressing mode or uh, some other addressing mode. So push put the content of the RAM address into the top of the stack and the format push your source that is the you have to specify by using the uh, direct addressing mode. Now suppose the two instructions move R6 hash 25 means 25 will load into the R6 register and push R6. So the data stored in the R6 that is the 25 will be stored on the stack. So while executing this push instruction first stack pointer will be incremented by 1. So it will become 08 and at address 08 the value in the R6 register that is the 25 will get stored. So pop operation remove the top value from the stack to the assigned RAM address. So format is pop and destination pop R3. So suppose the SP is uh, having the value 07. Okay. So f in the pop operation first value will be put in the destination that is this 25 will go into the R3 register and then this tag pointer will be gets decremented by 1. Now this is the example. So you consider the sequence of this instruction and then after executing this instruction you uh, find the uh, data stored in the stack. So you pause the video and try for this. So after executing first R6 value that is the 25 will get stored at uh, 08 then the R1 value 12 then this uh, R4 value. Similarly, the example for pop operation. Now for this you find uh, the stack status after executing this instruction. References 8051 by Majidi and Majidi, microcontroller by Ajay Deshmukh. Thank you.